Hey, what's up guys, Professor Tom, I'm here with Reese. We're gonna have a look today at an amazing choke. It comes on really fast, it's gonna surprise your partners. Uh, popular in judo and other grappling styles, but not really BJJ, and certainly not done this way. I didn't like this choke until I learned this way, now I love it, and you will too. Let's take a look. All right guys, let's have a look at the clock choke. So I'll get Reese on his hands and knees here. So guys, especially in jiu-jitsu competition, guys are going to start turtling. They're gonna avoid side control pass points by getting to turtle, and then they're gonna to try to avoid having their back taken. See, people will do different things. Judoka behave differently in this position to jujutsukas, right? But if he is really defending his hooks here and he won't let the hooks come in, I can often still try to attack the neck. Okay, let's have a look at the grip we need, then we'll have a look at our attack methodology here. Okay, so what I need to do is get my left hand in, I'll just sit you up, Reese. I need to get my left hand thumb in to the collar. Okay, I'll show you guys how I like to get that. If Reese is down on all fours again, you can just be up like a table just so they can, just so you can see, guys. Obviously, if he was like this, this is more of a wrestler's position. This isn't really a jiu-jitsu position, it'd be totally open, but it will let the camera see. So what I like to do, guys, I often like to have a cross face like this, and then I'll pull the lapel into my hand, okay? That's totally up to you. But I like to have a cross face like this, and then pull the lapel to that hand. Now, you don't have to do that, of course. You can just come across and get it. A lot of people like to open the lapel here, and then just come across and get it too. Be careful you don't put too much of your arm in, though, otherwise you're gonna get rolled this way. But once we've got our left hand in, the choke is ready to go and put it on. Let's have a look at how we do it. Traditionally, now you can go a little bit lower if you like. Traditionally, once I've got this in, I would control this hand, I would get to his shoulder line and I would walk around and put my choke on. So as my legs walk around like the hands of a clock, the choke comes on, clock choke. I didn't find that worked when guys would double my body weight. I found there was too much finesse, too much movement. So then, when I learned this version, everything changed and it became one of my favorite chokes. Let's have a look. My left hand is in. This is how I'm gonna finish. Watch my right elbow. It's going to come directly between his ear and his deltoid here in his right trap. Goes all the way down to the ground. So what I've done now is I've put my armpit on top of his head. I've put my tricep in front of his collarbone. So there's nowhere for Reese to go when I rip this choke on. But watch my leg position. My left hand is in, my right elbow is down, and now watch my right leg. My right leg kicks through this gap, and now all of my weight is through just my left leg. So when I pull, it's gonna come on really quick. Notice how I let the choke hand go, guys? Don't get back up and choke your partner out. So here I am in turtle position. I've got my grip, elbow, leg, and pull. Let that go real quick, okay? Let's have a look at one at speed here. So say I'm here, I'm trying to attack him. I've got my grip in, okay? With this, it's important to know that this lies at the end of a submission chain. Let's have a look at a hypothetical submission chain that might end in this choke. If I've got your back reach. So now I've got his back. I'm here, I play my double lapel choke, it's not working. So, I switch to my bow and arrow, but he kicks out of my grip and he gets to his knees. Look at my left elbow, get to the ground, and straight away for the cross choke, for the clock choke I should say. All right, so one more time, a very simple three submission chain you guys can hear. I teach to all my students. Basic double lapel choke. Move it into the bow and arrow. But if he kicks that grip out and rolls, left elbow chases the head, left leg kicks through, easy tap. My advice is to go a little bit easy on this choke. The effect of kicking your leg through and dropping all of your weight on the back of someone's head as you rip your forearm into their throat makes for an effective choke, but it also makes for a logistical uncomfort for your partner. 
So be nice. Uh, you know, in competition, go for it. But it's not like you're going to hurt people too bad, hopefully. But just be safe. Be careful. You want to choke someone. You don't want to hurt them. So have fun with the clock choke, guys. Um, I really fell in love with this when I competed in judo competitions back in my hometown when I started competing. We had no Brazilian jiu-jitsu competitions at all. So it was judo only, and they would call it curl up into a ball on the ground. And I only had a short amount of time to do my secret jiu-jitsu white belt tricks to these black belts. And so the clock choke was one of those ones where you could finish the fight in just a couple of seconds. So that's where I really fell in love with it. And when I learned to do it this way, my whole world changed. I started getting the choke every time. I know you will too. Don't forget guys, you can follow me on social media. Check out thegrapplingacademy.com. We've got full instructional courses on there, guys. Sales on all the time. And don't forget, click subscribe so you guys can follow us every week. We have new free content every week. Don't get left behind on your mats, guys. I'm Coach Tom. I'll catch you guys on the mats.